Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So I am back with the 14 week home organizational challenge and I will say that I kind of stalled out after week eight because so many things were happening around here that I did not have adequate time to give to the challenge. With that being said, I have graduation over for my oldest daughter. I have black belt testing over for Jackson. Uh, be looking for a video coming with some results on that. And now I'm able to tackle some of my list. I'm going to be very conservative in how I tackle things because I still have a couple weeks of school left. But after school is out for the summer, I am going in on the rest of my list. And I'm probably going to start back over with week one just to kind of look at where my spaces are and refresh. But week nine is the linen closet. And this is a pretty easy one to tackle because our linen closet is not very big. So here is the list. And remember, this challenge is sponsored by Tony Hammersley of A Bowl Full of Lemons. And I will link her in the description box below. I will link the challenge kit. And I will also link the Facebook group. So she gives you the checkoff list and then the sort, the clean, and the organize. So she wants you to prepare four baskets. Keep, donate, trash, recycle, and other. Then she wants you to sort, empty all the shelves, divide everything into four piles listed above, keep, donate, trash, recycle, or other room. Toss the trash and put the donations in a trash bag and put them in your car so they can go to the donation center today. Then she wants you to wipe down the shelves, the doors, the molding, anything, and then sweep and mop the floor. Organize, she wants you to put everything in the keep pile back, but you're going to organize it. So our linen closet is very, very small and it does not have any sheets or towels or wash rags in it at all because it's very small and it's oddly shaped. I think they just had to find something for this little corner of space and they thought linen closet would work. And I will tell you it is not the best for linens, but it is working and I'm going to change it up a little bit and uh, give us a more function to the room. So I'm not buying anything specific for this room or for this closet. There's nothing to purchase. I've already purchased things for it way before the challenge. And so I will show you what I am working with. Okay, everybody. So here's our linen closet. And right off the bat, just some cleaning things. There's handprints and, you know, all the way down, just some stuff. We're going to just have Jackson clean with Clorox wipes. But this is what our linen closet looks like. And we don't use it again for linens. We use it as a medicine cabinet. So I have medicine here, medicine here, medicine here. And then this is just some randomized bucket of stuff. So we're taking everything out. And then we're going to make two shelves medicine. And then I'm going to make two shelves cleaning things. Like extra laundry, I mean extra washing soap, extra hand soap toilet paper just because sometimes we have to run out to the garage in the middle of the night for extra things and that's just not the best so we're going to clean everything out and then we're going to come back with two shelves for meds and the reason I have two shelves is because I like to keep Alana's meds separate from Jackson's meds and then we just have regular family meds um, Tylenol ibuprofen different things like that but we have a lot of boxes and stuff that we can just toss out and then these last two shelves, of course, we're going to make those the extra things. Laundry, uh, hand soap, kitchen soap, paper towels, toilet papers. So that's what we're going to do into this closet. And we'll show you what we come up with. Okay, everybody. So we are done with our linen closet. I had Jackson come and wipe down all the handprints, wipe down the door for sanitary reasons. There's a lot of germs and stuff going around. And we have made it a smidge more functional for us. So this is what our linen closet looks like right now. In the top shelf here, we have um, family medicines. So cough syrup, Tylenol, ibuprofen, Aleve, witch hazel, alcohol. And then here in this cabinet right here or this bucket basket um, Jackson does have his asthma and so I have some of his albuterol things there we have extra uh, allergy pills like the Zyrtec the generic kind we've been getting from Sam's so that's in the back of there this section right here is the kids medicines 
They take similar medications with the exception of the asthma meds. So we just put everything in one box. It was okay to combine them together. And then we put our peroxide here. The last thing we did was we brought in from the garage items that we might use, use more frequently in the house. So on this back row, I have like a dish soap because we do use that quite often. Then I have some hand soap and I also have some dishwashing tabs. And then on this shelf down here, we brought in some t uh, paper towels and toilet paper. So those items we felt like we could bring out of the garage, even though it does, we have lots of them, we won't use them all, but at least we've cleared out a little bit of space in the garage and these things are readily accessible. Down here, I do have a basket, which I have yet to figure out what to put in, but I got it from the Dollar uh, No, I got it from the Goodwill a long, long time ago. I think it is used for a linen closet basket because it does appear to fit in this space, but we don't keep clothes in here. So I may have to um, figure something out. I was thinking I could put extra rolls of toilet paper and paper towels down in there just as storage and that would work out perfectly for us but anyway this is week number nine of the home organizational challenge i'm jumping back in and this is our linen closet we hope that you have enjoyed this let me encourage you if for some reason you have uh, fallen off of the wagon jump right back on it's okay it's just like weight watchers you jump off jump back on it's not to say that you stay off I know I have taken a little bit of time off. However, I'm back at it now, and this is our linen closet. So if you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. If you've been joining us for any parts of the challenge, let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions, let us know. If you're new to our channel, hit the red subscribe button. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. And also hit the little bell, that way you never miss an upload from us. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel, and until next week's home organizational challenge, Bye now.